Hey guys, it's Holly. So today I wanted to have a look and kind of compare and contrast and see the evolution of a few of the Lego Harry Potter minifigures, comparing the ones from 2018 to 2020 to the new ones from the Hogwarts Moments set in 2021. The Hogwarts Moments sets brought back quite a lot of characters that we've seen before, but luckily for us, it did give us some new variants. So I thought today it would be interesting to kind of see what the differences are and see how those figures have improved or changed or grown in that time. And yes, you can see that I've included Flitwick. I know that they are supposed to be two different character designs, but I thought it would be interesting to take a look at them side by side anyway. So first up, we're going to take a look at Harry. So starting off, we have Harry Potter, and the only difference here is the new torsos they've given him, which surprisingly, when you put them side by side, there is quite a few differences. Firstly, of course, you have a shield emblem, which is meant to represent, or at least in, I believe it is meant to represent, the original Harry Potter figures from 2000. 2001, as well as the updated ones that came out in 2010. You can also see that the v-neck on these figures is a lot bigger. It's definitely not as large and long as those 2010 figures, which honestly, looking back, looked kind of ridiculous. You also have some thicker line printing at the bottom of the jumper, which honestly, I do don't think I like. I think the thinner one looked a lot cleaner and a lot neater, but I do like that new tie design that they've gone for. At the back as well, you do practically have the same design just with that thicker line at the bottom there. Next up, we have Neville Longbottom, the one on the left being from the 2018 Harry Potter series, one CMF series, and the second being from the Herbology book. Now getting rid of Neville's accessories, we can see a better look at his torso printing and his face printing from that matter. Now the big difference with Neville, besides the fact that the legs are two different colors and two different heights, is the hair hat piece used. I say hair hat piece, it's more hair headphone piece. Now in 2018, we got one with his headphones on, which personally I really like the look of. And then in the Herbology set, we did get a new variant with the headphones being around the neck. And while I think this is really good, my main problem with the newer Neville figure is just from the hair. They gave him the Mutt Williams hair piece, whereas I personally believe it should have been the Robin one. So for for example, I made a younger version of Neville on my own and I did use that piece and I honestly think it matches Neville a lot better and suits that version that we got in the CMF series as well. I think it looks a lot closer to that rather than having that shorter scraggly hair piece. Now taking the two hair pieces off, you can see that there are some slight differences in the way that Neville's face looks. For example, the eyebrows are slanted a lot more down and they honestly look like they're reddish brown instead of dark brown on the newer one. You can also see see that his eyes are slightly thinner and his mouth has a slightly different shape. They're practically the same but have the slightest differences. I don't really know how to explain it. And then on the back, they essentially have the same face just with different eyebrows. I mean, I guess that Neville's chin is also a bit thicker as well, but that's about it. You can also see the back printing has some slight variation to it, but the main difference comes from the front as the newer version does not have a house tie on it, which personally I think I prefer just because you can make it any other student from any other house, whereas the older ones, you very much had to use Gryffindor students. And while I also do like that Gryffindor print, I don't imagine they're going to make four different house prints for each of the different houses out of this figure, especially in a set like this. So I do think just going with a neutral benefits that in some way. When you put them side by side though, I do think I prefer the original one to the newer one. Now, while I'm very aware that these two Flitwicks are based off two very different variants of them, I thought it would be interesting to look at them side by side just to kind of see see how much Flitwick did actually change throughout the film franchise, but also to kind of see how they, in my opinion, kind of slacked off on the original Philosopher's Stone one, which in my opinion should be far more detailed. The original one did come from a CMF, admittedly, so they did have kind of more of a budget. But I love the fact that they gave him that bow tie piece rather than just printing it on and also gave him the coattails piece despite it being slightly too long. It looks very accurate and looks very good. He didn't necessarily need the megaphone, but I I really liked the accessory considering it was a CMF series, but honestly, I just feel like the older Flitwick was a bit more detailed and felt more complete. I said this in the Hogwarts Moments review for Charms, but there's just something about this Flitwick figure that doesn't feel right. It feels very incomplete. I feel like he needed some sort of cape or jewel molded legs or just something else to kind of finish him off. Next up is Professor Snape. And as you can see, these figures are quite different. Firstly, in the way that the torso print is done 
one, but secondly in the fact that the newer one doesn't use that coattails piece and just has plain black legs, which does make sense because of the way that the torso is designed. It has got the robes flicking out to the side. However, when I look at it, it just doesn't look quite right because the legs are plain. And to me, it kind of feels like they did that so that they didn't have to include that coattails piece. It was just kind of a way of cutting corners and saving a bit of money in production to me, I feel like. In saying that though, I do really like the torso design. I love how his coat white thingy that he has is sticking out of the top unlike the original one that you get. However, with this one, I do like that they did those gray lines on the clothes and had that coattails piece because that is something they did not replicate on the newer one. They went back to like the 2007 design where the creases on his robes were done in purple, which still looks pretty cool, but to me, clothes don't fold with purple creases in them. That's just, that's just not how it works. So it kind of feels a bit odd to me. Besides that though, both figures do use the same hair and headpiece as each other. It's just really the leg printing and the torso print. And overall, I'd probably say I prefer the original one just because I know if I put the coattails piece on the newer torso, it just would not match at all. Next up, we have Professor Sprout. And unlike Professor Snape, I feel like these two variants are both very detailed and probably just as good as each other. Although I'm going to say it right now. I definitely prefer the one in the CMF with that dress piece. I just think it looks better. However, I am glad that in the Hogwarts moment sets, they did give us a range of new Professor Sprout pieces. For example, she's got a brand new face print, which now means we've got four different facial expressions for Professor Sprout. Her torso is also a bit different, very similar, but also the same. And honestly, I feel like that torso print is going to look better on the old figure. I don't know. I mean, I guess the printing and the pocket pieces aren't really going to match up, but you kind of get where I'm going with that. I do like as well, though, that they did give her jewel molded legs because that's something Lego just doesn't do too often. So it was really nice if they weren't going to include the skirt piece that they did give us jewel molded legs rather than just plain tan. I think it worked a lot better. But like I said, overall, I think the CMF Sprout is the best one and honestly I would hope she is considering she did come from a CMF series but when you turn her head around as well you can see that she does have two different faces. On the back of the CMF one you do get a more shocked and scared one and on the newer one you do get a very similar face to the one on the CMF on the other side. However her eyebrow is raised and she is kind of smirking a bit more and looking a bit more concerned. While I was kind of disappointed to see Sprout pop up again so soon and so quickly I am really glad with how Lego did her her because as a collector, I'm really happy to have two very different versions of this figure. And of course, I had to save the best for last with Professor McGonagall. Now, in the original 2018 Great Hall, I say original, it was not an original set, but you know what I mean. In the 2018 Great Hall, I really liked this version of McGonagall. I thought she was really good and really detailed, and I think Lego did an amazing job. I was very, very happy. And then the pictures for this McGonagall came out, and I was just in awe. I I've said this in my review, I've said this a thousand times, this McGonagall is going to be one of the best figures of 2021. She's just so amazing, I cannot get over it. The detailing on this figure is perfect and she's honestly one of the crown jewels of my Lego Harry Potter minifigure collection at this point. When you put the two of them side by side, there's really no comparison. This just hair hat combo sends it off. I also love the use of the skirt piece. I think it works really well for McGonagall and the fact that as well it's double printed on both the front and back is amazing. Now looking at these figures side by side, at first when I first saw the brand new figure I thought the torsos were the same. Turns out they are slightly different. If you look at the printing on McGonagall's dress it is different. She's got more petals whereas this one she's got a lot more of those green circles popping up. You also do get a brand new face print with glasses this time, shockingly. Besides that, both of the heads are very similar. They practically took the template of the old one and then kind of switched up the eyebrows a bit more and added glasses. And for that, I really like it. I think that worked really well because the original McGonagall head captured Maggie Smith really well. So I'm glad we have a variant now with the glasses because like Sprout, it just kind of gives you more options and just this version of McGonagall cannot compare. Like she is the best thing ever and I will be so 
swapping her out in my display now because I want this one next to that CMF Dumbledore with like the CMF Sprout and Trelawney. Like they are all such detailed figures. They are just going to look amazing next to each other. I may or may not have forgotten to film an outro, but anyway, guys, that is all of the figures. Let me know which ones you prefer out of the old and the new. I definitely think for me, McGonagall out of the new ones has to be the best figure here, hands down. And honestly, definitely prefer that old Sprout, even though I do really like the new one. Just that old one, it's the skirt piece. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm really excited to see what the figures for 2021 will be like in the summer wave. And I'll probably do another one of these videos later on in the year when those figures and sets do come out. But until until then guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel down below. And until next time, I'll see you later.